Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be introducing you to the Allegro PCB editor tool and just showcasing some of its core functionalities that it offers so that you can easily navigate a design on your own. So as an example, I have a fairly complicated project open and a number of different items uh, enabled to be visible on the canvas. Well, if I want to turn them off or change them to a different color, I would do that in the visibility pane here on the right hand side. And you can see that currently on the top layer, I have a number of different items that are enabled. So I have the etch, the via, the pin, and also the DRC markers as well. Now, if I want to turn one of these features off, I would just simply click the square and there it disappears. And if I want to change it to a different color, I would simply just right click and select the new color of choice. So fairly uh, easy to modify what is visible at a given time. And it's standardized in the visibility pane for some of the most common features that a particular designer would be utilizing. Now, if there's something specific that you want to see in your design, you would then move over to the options pane. And over here, you have the selection of the active class and the subclass. So in this uh, particular case, I have the board geometry that is currently enabled. And if I were to click this square, then you can see that my board geometry has, uh, has disappeared. So another convenient method of enabling and disabling these different classes and subclasses is actually through the color palette. So here you can see within this dialog, we have all of our different layers readily accessible. So in the example of the geometry where we were trying to turn on the design outline, we can navigate to the board geometry section, which is the active class, and then the subclass is the design outline. And here by checking this box, I can also get that same feature enabled. Okay, so that covers our quick introduction to the Allegro PCB editor tool. And you should now at least be comfortable in navigating through the different films and layers and classes and subclasses to view the content that you're looking for in your particular design. Okay.